Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in being a model or if you thought about it or someone ever says, hey, you know what? You should be a model. So definitely check out my channel. I make content on a weekly basis where I give you guys some of the best tips on how to become a model, how to get into the industry, give you guys some fashion tips as well. So do check me out. So earlier this week, I did a top 10 list for female models. And as requested, I'm giving you guys the top 10 male models working in the industry today. <laughs> So coming in at number 10 is Zen Yang Zhang. Zhang is from Beijing. He's known for his androgynous look. Uh, he started modeling in 2015 when he was scouted in China. What's unique about Zhang is that he's a professional dancer. He's been dancing for over 10 years and that's really helped him uh, master his posing techniques when he's taking photographs. At number nine is Dashan Jin. Uh, just like Zhang, Jin is also from China. He's been modeling for some time now. Uh, he actually appeared on a TV show, The Amazing Race, in China. So he's somewhat of a TV personality as well. At number eight is Finlay Davis. He's a British model with an impressive resume. He's appeared on ID Magazine, Vogue. Uh, he's done GQ in China. He's modeled for Gucci, Paul Smith. At number seven is Fernando Cabral. Fernando, he's from Guinea, but he actually grew up in Portugal. He has an older brother, Armando, who he's also modeled with. Together, they were both discovered by a modeling agency in 2010. And from there, they both appeared in an H&M holiday ad. He's been the face of Tom Ford, H&M, Hugo Boss, J. Crew. He's known for his dark skin and high cheekbones, and he's actually one of the highest paid models in the industry today. At number six is Eric Van Gils. Eric Van Gils, he's a model from the Netherlands. He's only 24 years old. Um, he's famously known for an interview that he did where he disclosed that he never wears skincare or hair care products unless he's on set. At number five is Alpha Dia. Alpha Dia, he's a Senegalese model. Uh, he's signed to Next Models. He's 6'2". He was discovered while he worked at a bar in Hamburg, Germany by a photographer. He's a very outspoken model and he's actually spoke against uh, racism which he encountered while he was modeling in Germany. At number four is Lucky Blue Smith. Uh, Lucky, he's 6'3". He's only 21 years old. He's a model, actor, and a musician. His father was actually an aspiring musician while his mother uh, was a model. He got scouted at the age of 10 and he didn't sign until he was 12 years old where he started modeling. He has three other sisters who also model as well and he's been featured on Teen Vogue in 2015. At number three is Australian model Jordan Barrett. Jordan was the male model of the year in 2016. Vogue has actually called him the model it boy of the new era. He's been given the GQ Award Man of Style for his high sense in fashion. He was scouted by IMG Scouts at age 14 and began modeling since then. Coming in at number two is runner up for male model of the year, Nathan Westling. Nathan Westling is 5'10", he's 23 years old. Uh, what's interesting about Nathan is that he's actually a transgender man. So he was born Natalie Westling but transitioned to Nathan. Uh, Nathan actually took some time off from modeling to focus on his mental health. His career began in 2010, but it didn't really take off until he changed his hair color to red. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. At number one is Alton Mason. Alton is the model of the year. He's only 22 years old. He's an American citizen, but his parents are Jamaican and Ghanaian. Alton's father was a pro basketball player who moved around quite a bit. While Alton was attending dancing school in Los Angeles, he was introduced to modeling by Lori Ann Gibson, who's a famous dancer herself. Alton is rumored to be dating top model Anuk Yai, who's also featured on my top 10 list, which you guys can check out on the right top side of the screen. They've also been spotted together on their social media accounts, so you can understand where the rumors are coming from. How many models do you recognize from this top 10 list? 
If you guys feel like I missed anyone out from this list, please drop a comment down below. If you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next one.